you always want to bring the spark. Was there a sense as you're watching things, especially in the second quarter, that you guys needed to sort of lift the team up, not just you know, try and get back in the game? Yeah, I think that's just like the second unit's job in general, or everybody's job in general, to come in and play hard. Uh, anything's happened, kind of reciprocate or um, do more, or the same. I mean, we just, everybody has to play hard at the end of the day, everybody. Even said that I met with you today and you guys went over, like, I guess with some video, that's something you weren't real happy about that you were doing. What were, what were those things and what, what did he show you and how do you think that helped you today? Uh, just like decision making, and like after that game, I watched the tape over like three or four times. I had the night before the game at like two a.m. today, um, yeah, I'm just like super critical of myself, uh, but more like just decision making, and just kind of like getting out of my head almost when I called him right after the game, and he was like, "Get out your head, <laughs> and uh, you're young, and you're gonna make mistakes, and uh, just like stay to the grind." Honestly, is that it? That type of drive and determination, is that what leads you to do things like uh, a couple of weeks ago you were out after the game shooting on the court, you know, stayed out there about an hour and a half. Are those type of things that drive you? Yeah, just to be better? I mean, my dad is still like being a hard worker. Like when I was like a sophomore in high school, we were taking drives hours away to get where I needed to be to work on my body. Um, so, yeah, just being a hard worker and making corrections mm -hmm. and, Fixing things I need to fix and just being critical of my game is something that I've always done since I kind of, what, since I was probably like 16 or something like that. When you were finishing, we were after practice, we were doing those drills, kind of working the freshman, either hand, but how have you seen that improve from coming to the league to Um, Man, I think I've always been able to get to the basket. Um, I think this whole season has just been like a confidence thing with me, being in like a, a new situation, being in the NBA. Um, just knowing that I can make things happen on the basketball court, I think it's all been mental with me, just being like going out there and just handling business. What about tonight, Josh? You were uh, very aggressive going to the basket as far as on the offensive end. Was that just your mindset coming in? Yeah, I'm super athletic, but I feel like I haven't really used it. So, I mean, when I get in that paint, I can take off. So, rather than trying to lay the ball up, I mean, I'm 226.5, so why not try and go dunk it? Usually when they see somebody that aggressive going to the basket, they don't want to get in the way, so. How much do you feel like you've grown from the start of the season to now as we're kind of at the halfway mark? And do you have any personal goals for yourself for the second half of the season, something specific maybe you want to focus on or improve on as the season goes on? Uh, I think I've shot the ball much better. I think I trusted my three ball from that NBA line much better. Uh, I think coming off the pick and roll, um, I still have to get much better, especially coming off and then throwing the skip pass. I could throw the bounce pass to KJ, but now I think the next step in my pick and roll game is to – when I don't have something in the middle, be able to kick out. And when I come off this way, I could throw the hook pass to somebody like Garrison Matthews or EG in the corner. What, what happened tonight, Josh, on the defensive end? You all gave up 75 points in the first quarter. I mean, the first half, excuse me. I think it's just like placement, not being in the right spots. Uh, I think they scored mostly in transition. So I think just not getting back um, and stop picking up the ball and then just communicate. I think allowed defense is a good defense. So the more we learn how to communicate with each other and get each other in spots and just help each other, we're going to be a lot good, a lot better. Was Carl Anthony Towns one of the reasons why the defense was the way it was? Coach said that they didn't use him a lot in the post. They used him high this time. Did that kind of confuse you all? Yeah, he was all over the place. Um, he's a good player, man. He's an all-star. Uh, it's, it's, it's a hard task when you have to guard somebody like him, especially when you're so focused on him. Uh, it opens up things for everybody else. So I think that's what happened tonight. Josh, I'm up from McGowan. How did your time with the Vipers help you get where you are now so successful? Oh, man, it just uh, gave me an opportunity to go play basketball, um, build my confidence, see things that I could do, see all the things that I was working on when I wasn't playing, and then just applying that. And then when I got back, I kind of had the same confidence, same swag, uh, and was just ready to play. Just, you know, see shots go in, see myself make plays, play defense, just get a feel for the, the NBA game. I'll pick one from Jim, Mark Berman. <laughs> Josh, what is it like at, at half? Steven said he was and his staff were showing you guys buckets in transition and you really don't have to say a whole lot. What's that like when y'all watch that sort of stuff at the half? Oh, man, it's like we, we know what we're doing. So it's just uh, having to make adjustments. I think that's the whole thing when it comes to film, just to show us what we're doing so we can fix it. Um, yeah, we needed to get back on defense. They were killing in transition. So I think if we would have got back more, stop ball, put pressure on them, uh, we would have been able to slow them down, which we ended up doing in the second half, for sure.
Appreciate you guys.